Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm going to be showing you how to use the spray can in Illustrator CC. It's also known as a simple spray tool, um, which is Shift S on the left side here, which is pretty handy. I don't really use it often, but you know, you can play around with it and have some fun experiment, um, explore the features of Illustrator. So first up, we're going to open our symbols palette. So to open that window, go to window at the top left corner and go down to symbols. So without symbols, you won't be able to use this tool. So we've got these default symbols here, but we're just going to delete those. I'm going to select the drop-down menu, select all unused, and press the bin, and then press yes. So we'll delete that, and we'll make our own symbol. So for this one, I'm going to just use a normal shape. So you can see I'm going to go and make a star. So I'm going to select the star, and then we're going to just you know hold shift and left-click and drag out and make a symbol like this, and I'll make it We'll make it gold. So I have this symbol, this shape, but we've got to turn it into a symbol. So I'm going to select this and drag it into my symbols panel. And then what we can do is rename it. So we've got this box here. We can just rename it. We can also export type as graphic. And, you know, you can select static or dynamic symbol, but we'll leave it on dynamic and press OK. So now we have a symbol in this panel. So the spray tool pretty much recognizes a symbol or uses a symbol within this palette, which is the one we select. So I've selected this one and I'm going to press Shift S or select it, which is the shortcut for the sprayer tool. And what this is going to do, if I just hold left click, it's just going to spray can all these symbols like that. I can move it around and you can see now if I select it, it recognizes it as a symbol set or as a group of symbols, which is pretty weird. And we can like scale them down like that if you want, which is interesting. So within this the this tool, this the symbol sprayer, you got all these different options. You got shifter, scruncher, sizer, spinner, stainer, screener, and styler. We won't be using the styler or the screener one or even the scruncher. So we'll just use you know these few ones here. So what the shifter does, I'm gonna select it and make sure you select the symbol set first and then go to the tool. I'm gonna right click to get these options here. And I'm gonna use the shifter. And what you do is just left click and drag and you can see it shifts the shapes around. It moves it around in a smooth motion in an area around its original position. So you can see that it's just like moving it around, which is pretty cool, pretty smooth. The second one is the sizer tool. This pretty much changes the size. So if I just left click on one of the shapes, it's gonna make it bigger. If I hold Option or Alt and left click, it's gonna make it smaller. And the cool thing is you can just go around and move it. So I can hold down Alt or I can just, you know, hold it down drag and move around my shapes. And the longer I keep my mouse over the shape, it's going to keep growing it. So And then once you let go, it makes the changes. So I'll hold Alt and then I'll go and I'll minus some of these. So I'm just going through holding left click. If I hold it, it's going to make it really small like that. And it makes the sizes all variable really quickly. And you can change it, you know, make it smaller or bigger. We've also got the spinner as well. So wait, make sure I select it and I'll go to the spinner tool. And what this does, you left click and then you pretty much move your mouse in the direction you want it to spin. Obviously there are stars, so you might not notice properly, but you can see there. I'm just left click and then you can see that it's got these little arrows. So it's going to move it in that direction. And you can select multiple of the shapes at once. And it's also going to spin it, which is pretty handy. So that's pretty cool. That's the spinner tool. We've also got the stainer as well. What this one does, it changes the tint. And if I just keep left clicking, you see it makes it more of a dull color. So you can see um, I've got this circle right around my mouse. You can make that circle smaller or bigger. So if I press left square bracket or right square bracket, we'll make it bigger. Left square bracket will make it smaller. So you can see there, maybe I only want this shape, not both of these, but if maybe I want all these shapes and it's going to select this greater area. And you can see there, if I go to my swatches panel and select a different color, it's going to stain it in that new color now. And you can see, make it smaller. So it's a quick way of coloring these symbols in this way. And it changes the, the tints, which is a little weird. But, you know, it's fun. You can play around with it. Maybe you're working with, you know, a lot of objects or shapes or like a background. Then this will probably be useful. 
And then, yeah, then we've got these a few other ones that you can use, but, you know, they don't really work well. So, yeah, that's how you use the sprayer tool, the symbol sprayer tool. You know, it's a fun tool. You can play around with it, experiment with different symbols, and, yeah, just check it out, and, you know, you can learn something from it. So, yeah, I hope this tutorial is useful. Let me know in the comments below what more tutorials you want to see, and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more creative design content every week. So yeah, appreciate it guys. Uh, look forward to the next video.